Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'm so excited to share this story with you in the next five minutes. So let's start with this one. How many Android developers do we have over here? Actually, I'm not one. Oh, cool. So uh, if you ever tried learning Android through YouTube, then, of course, you have encountered this amazing 200 video tutorials given by my bring back, and in specific, this guy over here, Travis. So uh, by the way, Travis is watching the live stream. So hi, Travis. Now, Travis had this amazing idea that involved five continents, 27 different countries, and over 15 languages. And in just four weeks, he gathered 164 members from all around the world. The idea is to create a community of developers designers, creative mind, and change their ideas into real projects. And he called this community the project. What creative name. So the project is actually a Google Plus community. It's an open source community that at first had this big problem since uh, there is this huge number of people inside it. We had a problem in managing everything, so we created a mission and vision document, a registration form. Uh, we split the community into teams, and we added each person to his appropriate team. And we had a leaderboard. So uh, the leaders had to communicate with each other instantly. So I suggested we use WhatsApp, but they were all like, what's WhatsApp? They didn't know it. So uh, after all, we had our project control room, and we had to find a way to communicate with the rest of the community. So uh, we went with Google Plus Hangouts. We had like uh, a weekly live show, and we had to pick a name for it. And since everything was, was going through votings, so uh, the community voted for this name, Assembly of the Lords of the Dark Realm of Unicorns. Anyway. So we had our uh, meetings, and we drew the plans. Uh, we told them about the steps that we're going uh, that we're going to go through, uh, the tools that we're going to use, and the first week was for brainstorming ideas. We had over 57 ideas from different parts of the world. We voted for the top three, and we started with one app, which is Jokesta app. So uh, here's an example. Uh, some random guy drew this sketch. And some other random guy from different country, a designer, changed it into a real design. We also worked with Git for uh, version control. And we came up with this sample of the Jokesta app that will be launched soon uh, on different platforms. So uh, in the community, in the project community, we had our ups and downs. But all in all, it's going great. And it's a great experience so far. So that's all about the project. And I'm going to go through eight good things that you will get when contributing to open source communities. Knowledge, technical skills, teamwork skills, global connections, online presence, potential jobs, self-confidence, and satisfaction. And that was all about the project. Thank you.